Okay, Shalom. I'm the brother of mine from the DC camp. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the brothers out there pushing the word, the hopeful elect. Um, I wanted to bring forth a topic today concerning the, uh, the people that may have, uh, that may have struck in, uh, and through the spirit, through the spirit, have been struck through the spirit. So, what I'm what I mean is that uh, you'll maybe hear this word or hear people teaching the, the scriptures, and you have a, a, a desire to want to listen. That the poss the possibility is that you might be an Israelite, you know, and then that, and and that being said, that uh, that it's it's commanded of you to come out and and help push forth the doctrine, you know, and with that. Uh, that is helping to speed up the times because why, why we need to speed up the times because we, we need to get out of here the longer we stay here the more that we're going to we're li uh, reliable to sin you know so with that I'm going to get a scripture this is Romans 13 verse 11 and that Knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer, nearer than when we believe. So you know now that we see Libya, we see things happening in Libya. Things is really getting uh, really heated. You know North Korea, they had tested out that missile. Um, I forget the name of it, but they had shot it up and. You know, Hawaii had uh, alarms, um, the nuclear uh, alarms. They, they said they're going to be doing drills every month because of those, uh, because of what Kim Jong Il has done. You know, so now that the, those things, these things are being heightened, because what in, in uh, Matthew's the twenty fourth chapter it talks about uh, the end times and things that you should see. It says wars and rumors of wars. So now you see these these uh, these wars brewing up, and they, and it's getting more tense than ever before. You know, you have Trump over there talking about he's going to take care of take care of it. There's, there's only a few ways to take care of uh, someone that's getting ready to do. Uh, you want to say a drive-by, is to but to take out the enemy. You know how you, he's going to take out the enemy. He can't go over there and go and with guns and shoot. He has to drop bombs on them. And if he does that, there's going to be there's going to be nothing but all-out war. Because once they see those missiles coming over, because you know everybody has that radar. But, you know, not, not getting too far off the topic, but if you believe, you know, that you have that spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and that this word, this words bring, this words brings you to the edge of your seat, then the possibility that you are an Israelite, man, and you need to, you need to do forth, put forth work to uh, bring, bring forth the, uh, the 12,000 out of each tribe, talking about the 144, uh, the 144, which is talked about in Revelations. You know, but I'm gonna read this again. This is uh, Romans uh, 13, verse 11. And now that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. You know, now is the time that Yahweh, uh, now is as we, then what we believe. As Yahweh Shai is come as he's 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 nearer than what we believe, you know. So right, it's, it, we're literally right around the corner from things from jumping off like martial law, the race riots, the famines, you know. Uh, because when those famines happen, man, they ain't gonna. There's gonna be but so much you gotta turn to, man, you know. And it, and after when you don't have anything to really turn to, well, where's your hope? Your your hope's gonna be into what you know, okay. Uh. And if you don't know certain things, you're you're liable to fall to be fault to be put into something called the ditch to where you can't move or get out this situation. But this is Isaiah 33 and 6. Uh, now and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength and salvation. Uh, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So you know you get that strength uh, and that fear. From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through the through the fear, you get that fear. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai likes to likes to see you like that, and he's gonna bless you and protect you 
from all tribu tribulations that's, that comes upon your path. But um, I'm going to read it again. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. And, that, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. So when you need something to hold you up, maybe you go, you know, uh, your mind's all messed up due to maybe you really, you're really hungry. You know, you, ha you have like a, a, a following or a congregation following you and they're asking you questions and things to that nature to where they're stressing you out. Hey Amen. This it, only, only the knowledge uh, of your how about Shimei Arashah is going to be able to hold to with hold you. He's gonna the Most High got to be able. To, he's got to be dealing with you for you to 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 uh to um to abstain something to that magnitude. But uh, I'm gonna get a quick scripture. This is Matthew nine. Verse thirty seven. Then uh this is Matthew nine verse thirty seven. Then say saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is uh plenteous, but the laborers are free a few. So for all the people that are out are out there that believe, you know, that you're an Israelite or like I said, if you have uh your spirit desires to listen to this you know, not due to entertainment, you know, the post, you know, uh, it, what it, is, it says the heart, let me read it again, this is Matthew 9, verse 37, then uh, saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few, so there's but so many laborers, you know, and, and there's a lot of work to do, so we need, we need help, to, uh, to push forth to push forth the work, mainly talking talking about the elect. We need uh, help from the elect so we could speed up the times, you know. Because it talks about hastening the day, hastening the day, praying, fasting, you know, praying for a few days. It talks about that in, in second uh, second second Ezra the fourth chapter. Uh, actually, let me. Let me get that scripture real fast. Second Ezra's verse four. Lucky. It was Second Ezra two and thirteen. So this is Second uh, Second Ezra two verse thirteen. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is ready. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. So you know the kingdom's already prepared for us. You know we just gotta watch and hold fast, hold fast the truth. You know hold tightly, hold close to us. Uh, but it, it says, uh, "Go and and you shall receive." You know if we're gonna go, we're gonna go and walk this walk, or uh, run this race. We're gonna receive. You know, Lord willing, we are able to endure the things that the obstacles that come with the race. Um, pray for few days unto you you know pray for a few days and it says uh that they may be shortened you know because these because hey the more we breathe it breathe this air in the longer we stay here the more that we we go off you know like i was going into in matthews uh 9 9 and 37 it says uh then say say if he unto his disciples the harvest truly is plenteous but the laborers are few Pray ye therefore the Lord uh, of the harvest that he send it, send forth laborers unto his heart uh, yeah unto his harvest. 
So, you know, we got to pray for uh, for the elect to rise up and wake up. So they, we can, uh, so, the, so the men that are plowing, you know, us, that are, that are working, putting up, putting our hands forth to the plow, you know, we can use more hands, mainly talking about the elect hands, to help push forth this work. You know, with that, uh, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. With that, uh, you know, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to the brothers out there pushing pushing the work in sincerity and truth. Shalom.